Miami Dolphins news and rumors coming at you right now. Mike Gesicki suffered a shoulder injury versus the Chiefs on the final, final drive and was unable to finish the game. So Brian Flores says way too early to tell, but we'll see. Normally when the coaching staff says, oh, it's too early to tell, Normally that that's this is my assumption, but normally that means it's fairly swollen, banged up, and you yep. can't you can't get the the exact details that you want. And normally when it's really swollen and beaten up, and you can't tell on MRIs and X-rays and stuff, that's not good. So I spoke on the phone with one of my uh, we'll say doctor friends here, mm -hmm. and he basically said he watched the film from the Gasecki injury, and this mm -hmm. is what he said mm -hmm. that he still thinks it's a right shoulder dislocation with a potential labral mm -hmm. tear. No, that's gonna be bad. But it is significant that he didn't break his clavicle. So that's what he believes. Again, I'm just mm -hmm. giving you my two cents from somebody mm -hmm. who I personally trust to give me an update on Gasecki because guess what? Mm -hmm. I have him in a fantasy league, so I was curious. <laughs> he's been great this year. You no, know, he's been very good. He's one of the best pass catching tight ends in all of football. With him not being able to go, you're gonna see a little bit more out of a player mm -hmm. like Adam Shaheen, who they are all already invested in who a guy like Durham Smythe keep that in mind but this is a major major loss because he's been outstanding this year ever since Tua took over in particular namely these last three games or so I mean Gasicki's really emerged yeah and I think that makes some sense to a as is a good fit for what Kasicki wants to do and what that offense wants well, to do. That safety I, I, I like him a lot. I, I like him long term. If he does miss time, it's a pretty significant loss. Yeah. A very disappointing loss for Miami in the midst of a playoff push. But hopefully he's okay long term because I think he is a core piece for this offense no, going absolutely. forward. I mean, especially when you think about Tua and if this team does make the playoffs, let mm -hmm. us know in the comments section why free SN for no. Devontae Parker went down with an injury. We still don't have yeah. an update on him. Jakeem Grant, he's not going to play. And, I mean, when you think about all the other players that decided to not play this year, realistically, going into the season, the top five mm -hmm. Dolphins receivers might not play this upcoming year. So, Lynn Bowden Jr., he was basically the main star there last we go, past baby. week. Seven catches for 82 yards. Hey, I'm mm -hmm. telling you what, man, it's going to be interesting to see. So, what do you think? Will the Dolphins make the playoffs? Give us a Y for yes, or I want you to type N for no. Let's look at the current AFC playoff picture as it stands right now as we film this video today on Monday. I.e. pre-Browns Ravens Monday Night Football matchup. Bingo. So right now the Chiefs at the number one seed 12-1. and one. As you can see, they clinched the division in the AFC West for, what is it, like the sixth or fifth straight year. The Steelers at number two, two straight losses. The Bills, they get a big time win playing. Just as good football as almost anybody gets, here. Gets them in the mix, the number two seed oh, now, absolutely. which used to mean more, but now it's just the, the one that matters. That's only by. The Tennessee Titans, the number four seed at 9-4. and four. The Browns, as it stands, as a reminder, again, 9-3. and three. Could they take care of business against the Ravens, who are sitting there at 7-5? and five? If Baltimore loses, I believe they fall behind the they Raiders. They do fall behind the, the Raiders. And if the Browns win, I mean, if they continue to win, it wouldn't surprise me if they battle it out with the Pittsburgh Steelers. For the, for the AFC North, I mean, they play week thir or yeah. week 17. I've what, seen crazy what's things. What's interesting Tom. right now is you've got, potentially, what happens with the Ravens, of course, you've got three teams all within a game of each other. Dolphins, Ravens, Raiders, and two of those teams play each other week 16. Dolphins, Raiders, depending on what else happens, that might not be a true elimination scenario game. True. But it might end up being a de facto one or a winner of this game really puts themselves up in a great spot unless they blow it in week 16. 17. And I mean, but for Miami, you at least control your own destiny. You got mm -hmm. the Patriots in Week 15, Raiders Week 16, mm -hmm. then the Buffalo Bills Week 17. It's not going to be easy, but that defense is definitely going to show up and be ready to play. Let's also look at the NFC playoff picture. We got a new number one, the Green Bay Packers at 10-3. and three. The Saints, they dropped down because they just lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. The Rams, and then, well, the Washington football team, but... We'll see uh, what ultimately ends up happening here. I think this is going to be the teams that you see get into the playoffs at this point. Uh, Vikings and Bears are still kind of lurking. Arizona hasn't looked great the past month, month and a half or well, so. Of the Bears hey, are Vikings. If the, Minis if the Minnesota Vikings had just beaten the Dallas Cowboys, they'd be in the seventh seed. Let that sink in for a second. All they did was win against the Cowboys, and they didn't do it. I'm excited to see that race for number one. Packers, Saints, Rams, Seahawks are all very much in the mix there. 